In today's video, I'll be spray painting the brakes red to give it a more high performance look. Let's get started on this ricer mod. I'ma do this thing my way. Let's go. Been grinding hard on it all day. It's okay. We work hard, then we all play. What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you how to paint your brakes. It's been a highly requested video. Um, this doesn't add any performance to your car in any way. It just makes it look a little cooler through the wheels. Uh, these things are just so old and gross looking. I've already cleaned them, but I'm going to show you on camera how I do it. Now there's a multiple different ways to do this. You can actually unbolt the brake caliper, take the brake pads out, which is the preferred method for me. But to save time and show you the quick, easy way, which most people want, the quick and easy way, um, I'll show you how to do that. All right, now one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is get yourself some brake cleaner. Um, any old brake cleaner will work. Basically, just soak it, wipe it down, make sure to get all the grime off of it. And if you're doing the other method, you'll have to remove the brake line, remove the brake pads, and take this whole assembly off. But for the sake of saving you guys some time, I'm just going to show you the method that's the quickest because that's what most people want. Got some 220 grit sandpaper right here. Basically just going to scuff it up so that the paint sticks really well. Wipe it down. Now there's a few different methods you can do right here. You can either use some tape, put some tape like this all the way through, or you can do this method right here, which works pretty well for me, where you basically just take a towel or a rag, drape this part over here, and now you're ready basically to shoot your primer or your base color. Um, just basically use any primer or base white because that'll help the brakes pop a lot more. All right, now that you've got your white base done, you'll get some Duplicolor caliper paint. Um, you'll let this dry for about five or 10 minutes, then you'll go over it with the Duplicolor caliper paint. Now, like I said, this is the fast method, but the preferred method would be to remove the two bolts that hold the entire assembly on, take the brakes off, um, take this whole thing apart, and paint it that way. All right, now that this is dried um, for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and take the red caliper paint and just hit it with some red. All right, now that we painted the red, I'm gonna go ahead and use the gloss clear that we used on the wheels because it is a high temp paint. Um, I'm just gonna clear over it. And that's basically the extent of how to paint the brakes up front. Now we're gonna go do the drums in the back and see how the finished product looks. Right, so quick note, back here's the dust shield. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that because I forgot to hit that. It makes it look just a little bit cleaner. Now, if you did get any on the actual brake disc, it's easy to just put some brake clean on a rag and wipe all that excess overspray off. All right, now we're gonna go back to the back drum, do that, and then we'll see how the finished product looks all together. All right, as for the rear, you're basically just gonna do the same thing you did to the front. Put a towel or something to block all of the overspray, like that. Now we're gonna hit this with some brake clean. Then we're gonna hit it with some 220. Wipe it down one more time. Go ahead, hit it with some white. Now after you hit the white, let it set up for about five to 10 minutes, just like we did on the front, and then we'll hit it with some red and then clear.
All right, now just like we did on the front, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the clear after about 10 minutes of drying. All right, hit it with the clear. Now we're gonna let that fully dry before we put the wheels back on. All right, so it's been drying for about 10 minutes now. Um, the lug studs have some paint on them and you don't want that paint on there. You want this to be as debris free as possible. So take some brake clean, put it on the rag and uh, go ahead and just wipe those off. All right, now that's it for that. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the wheels back on and see what it looks like. All right, so here it is. Uh, make sure to torque the lug nuts down after you lower it onto the ground. So as you can see, you can see those brakes pretty well through the wheels. And it does give it a little bit more of an aggressive look. Now I am gonna lower this, so don't worry guys, it will be getting lowered. Um, but this is just an aesthetics mod. It only makes your car look a little bit better. It doesn't improve your braking or anything like that. So I'm not trying to say that it does. This is strictly a ricer mod. It's okay because I'm kind of a ricer at heart, it's all good. But uh, yeah, so this video is requested. I figured I'd get it done and out to you guys. Now in the next video, I plan on doing a headlight restoration, also a highly requested video because look how horrible these headlights look. Um, I also found out that the company that made this paint, Magic, they actually have a clear coat designed specifically for this single stage. So I will be wet sanding this with 320, going over, adding one more coat over the entire car, getting rid of all the runs and imperfections and then adding clear out of the spray gun. So definitely stay tuned. I also have door jam video that I'm gonna be coming out with soon. So yeah, uh, I appreciate all the responses and uh, communication in my comments. I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna get ready to do the live video so I can pick a random winner to donate some money to. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like this video and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of the cheap ricer mod. So. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.